Here's CNBC's Jane Wells. Joe Sweeney is a fish out of water. He's raising tilapia in the middle of Iowa. <laughs> this is hog country. We produced la this last year about a million pounds of tilapia. And uh, over the next three years, we're going to grow that to about five million. Sweeney runs Eagle's Catch in Ellsworth, Iowa, and raised $20 million to launch it from other farmers like Matt Danner. We're looking for the sustainability piece in our operation and how we can extend that. The whole idea may seem fishy because hog farming right now has never been more profitable. At the World Pork Expo in Des Moines this week, hog farmers have money to spend. Despite higher feed costs, high Chinese tariffs, and restaurants being closed much of last year, demand for pork is so strong that retail prices are at a record, over $4.30 a pound. Through the pandemic, consumers picked pork. We've got pork consumers that are consuming more pork in this country than they ever have. But a hog needs twice as much to eat to produce a pound of meat as a fish does. And Sweeney is trying to convince Midwestern farmers to diversify. Right now in the United States, we import about 90 percent of all the seafood that we consume. Most of which, in fact, three quarters of all the seafood comes from just China. He believes that as the Chinese population and spending power grows, China's going to want to keep fish for its own people, creating the need for a homegrown supply in the U.S. And what better place than in a state famous for raising animals on a large scale? I get asked how we're doing, and I always answer with, uh, we're still swimming. Now, his tilapia does cost a little more than the stuff we import, but unlike the pigs, like these here at Berkwood Farms, tilapia doesn't face tariffs. It's not dealing with the packing house problems that other livestock are dealing with. However, pigs and fish have one thing in common here in Iowa. They both eat the soybeans. <laughs> Chef, mmm, beans. <laughs> Jane, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.